Alcoholic beverages have been produced and consumed by humans since the Neolithic era. There is even evidence suggesting the preparation of alcoholic drinks dating as far back as 8000 BC. In today's modern world, we usually divide alcohol into three groups, wine, spirits, and beer. Beer alone is the world's third most popular drink behind tea and water. One spirit that is itself divided into several categories is whiskey. Scotch, Irish, American, Japanese, many Australians love whiskey, but are usually found drinking whiskies from overseas due to the lack of local industry. Here with me today to discuss and sample some imported whiskey from the other side of the world is Lance, a somewhat qualified mechanic who has half of his chest tattooed. Hello all, thanks for having me on your show. Pri privileged to be here. And Craig, a man who has the weakest stomach in Malulaba. I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to be here. So Craig, uh, can you count on one hand how many whiskies you've actually tried in your lifetime? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you want a number? Can you... <laughs> no. What, uh, can you remember what, what your favourite whiskey was out of those less than five? I haven't found a favourite yet. No. Okay. I had some smoky stuff that you'd got brought back from Scotland and almost blew my head off with the smoky flavour. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. Was I was singing there? three of them. That, that was the art bag. Yeah. That was number one. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. singing the Lumberjack song by Monty Python for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> Lance, how about you? What, how many whiskies do you think uh, you've tried? Close to the 20 mark. 20? Yeah, you have to be close. Yeah. 20 mark. Have you got a favourite? Um, I do like um, Yamakaze, Japanese. Um, although is it, is Orkin, it, Orkin Toshin, I, I do like Is it that. Yamakaze or is it Yamazuki? Yam, Yamazuki. Uh, Yam. <laughs> I can't even remember now. It's um, Japanese, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Guess as long yeah, as it yeah, sounds, it's all good. Uh, I'm probably thinking about my motorbike a bit when I said Yamazaki. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it is. That's a good one. Yamakawasaki. Yeah, I think well, you're right. Uh, well, I, I honestly can't remember. Let, let's Yamakaze. Just, no, Yamakaze or Yamazuki, like, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I didn't mind that. It was nice. Um, I do like Orkin Toshin. Orkin, yeah. Yeah, old Orkin Toshin. Three wood. Three, three wood. Yeah, yeah, I did like that. I actually preferred that over the half wood. So do you, th um, you think the the orc and the three wood that's your favourite Scottish whiskey? So far, I'd so say. Far, yeah. um, I still have many more to try, but so far, yes, yeah. that would be up there. Well up there. How do you normally have your whiskey? Depends how old it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's old as a walking stick. Yeah. Older, <laughs> older, I'll just have in a glass. It's just <laughs> um, if it's younger, I'll just have it out of the bottle. Yeah, fair enough. Scotch on the rocks. Yeah. Normally with um, one or two cubes of ice, or if it's a lot nicer, a lot smoother, or smoky, I'll just have it with some um, stones, cold stones. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how about yourself? No, I just drink it neat. Yeah. I, I drink it neat. Uh, unless I can't handle it, if it's if it's got too much of a burn or too much of a sting, then yeah. I might put ice in it. Uh, or if it's absolutely horrible, like uh, I'm not naming names. Uh, I'm not naming names, but uh, Johnny yeah. Walker Red is terrible, and yeah. uh, that, that, that should stay on the shelf. Well, that should stay on, it should stay on the shelf. But if I was forced to drink it, it would be with Coke or soda or something. I'm or not acid. gonna. I'm not gonna drink that stuff. Well, that's probably why they put in a red label so you stop before you drink it. Yes, you well. That's, that's a good point. I never thought of that. Oh. There's no Johnny Walker Green label though, is there? Not yet. Oh, is no. there? Give it oh, time. There's a Jim Bing Green label. Yeah, there is Jim Bing Green. And then how many <laughs> would you say you've tried? How many whiskeys yeah. have I tried? I have Need three or four no hands. idea. Well, th this is where my snob moment comes in, because when I was in the UK, I tried several yeah. whiskeys, and I really, really went for the Isla stuff. Yeah. Isla's my favourite region, so I tried as much as I could. So I, I've lost count, but yeah. you ran out of fingers and toes. Yes, yeah. yes, and I've I've you know had a lot of shit whiskies as well. Had a lot of shit. Yeah. Well. Yes. So Lance, what's in your stash at the moment? What whiskies have you got in your stash? Uh, I have a couple. Uh, 
couple, um, unopened, and a couple open. Um, unopened, I got blue Johnny Walker Blue Label, uh, Johnny Walker XR Twenty One. Ah, uh, yes, the Twenty One. Yeah, that, that that won't be opening for a fair while. Yes. Um, Special occasion. Yeah. Yeah. First child I was told. Um, Just stopping it there. When you bought the the Twenty One. Yes. Uh, I think you told me about there was another Johnny Walker you saw oh, on sale. Yes. Uh, what was that? That that was uh, the John Walker. The John Walker. Yes. If, if I had um, four thousand six hundred dollars, I probably would have bought it. Okay. What do you What do you That's, think about? I was gonna say, what do you think about that, Craig? Spending over four grand on a bottle of whiskey. I probably respect the decision of the people who buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't myself. Oh, yeah, I, I was a little bit uh, shaky carrying that to the to um to the counter where my partner was standing. And uh... <laughs> oh, so, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You, so you're saying you you actually picked up this four thousand yeah. dollar box and made your way to the counter. Yes, but I did. someone stopped you. Yes, <laughs> I did. Well, this is a start. Well, it was on special. <laughs> it was actually on special for oh, three thousand eight hundred and ninety. Oh, well, there you go. Well, so well, they knocked a bit of price off there. How dare they? Oh. Yeah, it was, it, it's definitely still in the back of my mind. But it stayed at the mind. Stayed where it was. It didn't. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, what do you but, do when you win lotto? I'm going to buy a four thousand dollar bottle of scotch. Oh no no no! If you know, if you win lotto, I found another bottle of scotch. <laughs> Fifty-four thousand dollar bottle. Oh, good news! Yeah. Yeah. You have Very to buy two, though. Actually, yeah, there, there, <laughs> the, yeah, there was a, a bourbon I saw in Glasgow, and that was five thousand pounds. Yeah, and I think that was a fifty-year-old bourbon, and it was distilled in a Scotch whiskey yeah. barrel. Yeah. Five thousand pounds. <laughs> so Lance and I bought some whiskey in to uh, to try out. I bought in two scotches lance you brought in two american whiskies what what did you bring in uh just a, the the normal low range um wild turkey and a rare breed wild turkey as well which is a little bit higher up um has a higher percentage um corked bottle so hopefully it'll taste all right you're right I, I... <laughs> I brought in a, a 10 year art bag, which is from Isla, which is the smoky stuff. And I brought in a Glen Grant, which is from Speyside. So out of those four, which ones do you think you're most looking forward to? Oh, I'm sorry, I'd, I'd also brought in a, um, a Jim Beam Fire, which Did is you su supposedly cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh, yuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, uh, and he said fire has any smoke. Right. So you, so you brought three. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this show is planned. <laughs> planned is overrated. Planned is overrated. So when you hear those four whiskies, Craig, and, uh, well, five now even, out of those five, is, is there one that you're more looking forward to than the others? Well, I've tasted the... The smoky one, that was the one that I tried a little while ago. The Ardbeg. The Ardbeg, I tried that one. So that wasn't too bad at the time, as I said, it blew my head out. Um, fire sounds interesting. Don't know about cinnamon, cinnamon I'm not going to say that word, that uh, fiery cinnamon. taste. Cinnamon, yeah. Mm. I'm just optimistic about all of them. Optimistic, yeah. Well, I did try the wild turkey spiced. I think it was wild turkey spiced. That was very cinnamon, and I didn't enjoy that. Yeah, this 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 will have a, a stronger cinnamon flavour on. Yeah, sounds again. scary, doesn't it? Cin cin cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cin yeah, I'll leave you say Lan that word. Lance and I can say cinnamon. If I go to say that word, I just point at one of you. Okay. Okay. Cinnamon. Thank you. We got that sorted. Got that sorted. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, right. Stop when they coat donuts in. Cinnamon. Thank you. <laughs> Slightly off topic, but. Hey. Sugar. <laughs> <I see> sugar. <laughs> no. Here we have uh, eighty-six point eight proof wild turkey Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Now just have a have a swig. Have a I mean, so, don't have a swig. 
Have a waft, have a have, sniff. Have a guzzle. When you when you sniff that, Lance, what do you uh what can you smell there? Timbery. Timbery. Can I can Timber. I have the, the, yeah, the sure. bottle there? I'll, I'll just <laughs> let me just read the label. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Kentucky Straight Bourbon is a legendary American icon ex expertly crafted by a master distiller, Jimmy Russell, and his son Eddie. This bourbon is made with Kentucky limestone purified water and the best ingredients available. Wild turkey is aged to perfection in heavily charred white oak barrels and bottled when it reaches its full complex flavor of caramel and vanilla. This is how bourbon is meant to be. Passionately genuine with uncompromised excellence. It does smell like young timber. Young timber. Young timber. Can you smell can you smell caramel or vanilla in there? Smell something. Actually, it does smell a bit caramel. Mm, yeah, a little car caramel. Not. Mm. It's very. It it smells very sugary. It's, yeah, it's very it, sweet. Yeah. yeah, I can't describe it. So, yeah, that might have to get my nostrils fixed. Yeah. <laughs> when when I read that label, did, did hairs, that? Uh, yeah. When I read the label, did Never it make you? Double. Did it make you want to taste it, or did it make you sort of not want to taste it? Intrigued. Interested. Interested. Well, all right. Well, let's find well, out. It had, had a cork, so yeah. they say anything with a cork you should be interested. Oh, I, so I was interested as soon as I picked mm -hmm. it up. And I was like, oh, maybe it's all right. They need a spring loaded oh, yeah. cork in every bottle, so you just go, holy dolly duck! <laughs> well, there you go. Next time you need to go shopping for a big night, take Lance with you. He'll buy everything with a cork in it because it's the good <laughs> stuff. We go to every bottle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Craig. Craig's doing it again. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Shall, shall we? It, do, it does have a caramely smell, but it also smells like very young timber barrels, I would say. So the barrels it's been distilled in, Whoa. or aged Whoa. in rather, uh, you're saying they're not, it's not old wood. It's no, it doesn't, young wood. doesn't smell like old wood. That clears mm -hmm. your sinuses. Hmm. Well, that, that's a good point because... Uh, Distilleries in Scotland, like Orkin, Toshin, yeah. they get their barrels from Jim Bean, yeah. mainly. So you get uh, bourbon distillers, distillers in America, they they use their wood, which mm. is, as you put it, young wood, and then they send overseas for other people to use. Yeah. So you reckon so that tastes... Still, yeah, it's still... It's not new, aged. New tree timber, yeah. this is what I'm, I'm getting. Mm. It's it's been maybe used you know, a couple of batches, yes. used for a couple of batches of turkey, and then, mm. like you said, shipped overseas for a nicer blend. Now, Craig, you uh, that was probably an overreaction. Did you, <laughs> yeah, well, you reacted the the loudest out of the three of us. But, uh, I do apologise. No, that's 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 fine. What uh, did could you taste any? Sweetness, any caramel? Or I can smell vanilla? sounds now. You <laughs> Dude. Um, uh, oh, a bit of a fire. Oh my god, his nose is bleeding. <laughs> These two. Um, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's sort of a hit here. Mm. Mind you, as I say, my whiskey experience is now two. Two? <laughs> Maybe three. Oh, for, there you go. for an 86 proof. There's no afterburn, which is well. It, yeah, well, the burn is. I think when you have it initially, there's a bit of burn, but it's, burn, it's, it's not burn. lingering. It's no, not lingering it, it, afterwards. It, it fades very quick. Well, if I go, uh, I think smoothness. It surprised. I thought it would be a very. I didn't think it would be smooth at all, but no. it's surprisingly, reasonably smooth. I think the flavour in it is a lot better than what I expected. I thought it would just be sort of. Uh, like basic sort of the the shit that comes out of the bottom of the distillery like it's all the leftover sort yeah. of blended shit but it's not as surprisingly a lot better than what I thought there's still a little bit of heat in the back of my throat yep yeah it's still there it's not burning heat. it's just warm so it has got that little bit of a after punch to it yes it does which is is, is, is mm. nice yeah. good on a um, cold winter's night to warm you up yeah. If you ran out of uh, something to mix it with, <laughs> if you have it that way. 
Yeah. I think so. I can feel the caramel actually. Taste the caramel now. That's good. Mm. Of something. See? It's not cinnamon. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. And it's it, it's not that word. It's not burn. Yeah. It's yeah. you can taste some sort of flavour. Something like that. Something mm. sugary. So overall yeah. sweet. Who was impressed? I'm impressed because I wasn't expecting much from mm. that. So yeah. I was expecting it to be about a 2 out of 10. I'd probably give that about a 4. Maybe a 5 yeah. out of 10. So it shoots higher than what it... What it than what I thought. What it's yeah. labelled, oh. basically. What you, what you read on the label, yeah. it shoots a little bit higher. Yeah, well, good. it's 80-something percent proof, which yeah. I think is good. Usually, yeah. they're a lot lower. That's quite good to you. <laughs> I, I love Jim Beam, though. I'm, I'm a Jim Beam... Kind when it guy. when it comes to bourbon, it's it's Jim Beam for me. Yeah. I love I love my bonded and yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Craig, what do you out of ten? What do you think? Yes. <laughs> uh, scoring is difficult. Okay, oh, that's um, fair enough. Considering my whiskey experience, if I'm completely honest, isn't high. All right. Well, let's the veterans in the room with me. Okay. Well, let's say let's say you give it a ten out of ten now, mm -hmm. and then. The next one, if it's better, that gets the 10. This one gets pushed down. Or the next one doesn't stack up, but it goes down. We'll go with that. What do you reckon? Already. We'll go with that. All right. Lance, what do you think? Yeah, I'd give it a, a 3 for smoothness. It is smooth. 3 um, out of 3. Yeah, it is. Ooh, big call. Big call. It, it is smooth for, for a lower... I'm oh, sorry, actually, I'll give it a 2 because I've had something quite smoother than that. Um, <laughs> it is smooth for a lower, lower grade uh, whiskey. Taste... A little bit of taste there. It's more um, aftertaste. Um, smell though, smell is is there. It um, definitely smells like what what it says on the bottle. And so I uh, give it about four, four out of ten or yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay. Here we have Jim Beam Kentucky Fire. Kentucky Straight. What is it, Craig? That word. <laughs> Cinnamon. Hey! hey! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> it's like anomaly. Oh, I said it! <laughs> Can you say croissant? Croissant. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we have Kentucky Straight Cinnamon Infused Bourbon Liqueur. We've lost Mato. Mm. That's right. You'll come back later. Can you say Philippusis? <laughs> like you said? <laughs> Philippusis? Uh. Lighten up a bunger. Lighten up a bunger. <laughs> Ripper, eh? Hey. Bloody oath, mate. Hey, hey, sorry, uh, getting back that's to that. Sorry, that's, that's all right. Back, I'm, I'm, I'm quite amused here. <laughs> we saw a spar downhill. It's not quite cultured anymore. <laughs> you may continue. So should we read the label or should we just drink it? No, no, that's... Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, right, that's we're just... heading back to Kentucky. We've got a cinnamon anyway, whiskey here. Anyway, in, right. in Kentucky, apparently, made with genuine beam whiskey... <laughs> On the bottle, quote, it reads, Jim Beam Kentucky Fire contains all the pride of the Beams, Beams family 200-year history. Our impassioned distillers have turned it up a notch by mixing the world's finest Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey with the flavour of red-hot cinnamon. Nice work. Thank the you. result is a delicious, delicious red bourbon with a fiery sweet kick. Enjoy chilled or on the rocks. Okay. Well, well, we're, nice. we're having it neat for now. Yeah, neat, uh, neat sounds good. Uh, yeah, no, it says lack of, rock, lack of rocks in mine. It is at a 35% alcohol. 35%? Yeah. Does uh, it say... It's, it's switched a little bit lower than the, um, the turkey we just had. I'm assuming. Okay, I must admit, when I sniff it, it makes my face 35. scratch up. I, I'm not liking yeah, this. Yeah, not, not a cinnamon kind of guy. Doesn't smell like donuts. I don't mind a cinnamon donut, but the smell is just so overpowering. I don't yeah. know. Actually, it, it smells like cinnamon tea cake. You can almost, almost smell it from across cinnamon the Cinnamon tea cake, yes. Also with cinnamon in it. Oh, so, wow. Well, it, like a, a chai a tea. a big hint of honey there, I think. You can smell that like that chai flavour. you Ooh. Like that sort of ginger even flavour you get in. Yeah, 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 it smells or, ginger. Oh, yeah. smell ginger. It smells very sweet. Yeah, a lot Excuse of sugar, me. a lot of cinnamon. Mm. Yes. What do you, what right. do you think? Thinking it's going to be like? Do you think it's going to be too overpowering, very strong, well, very dry? I'm hoping 
that when I taste it, it tastes like the Jim Beam I'm used to. It's got that smooth whiskey flavour to it with a touch of cinnamon, but mm. I'm worried that it's going to be more cinnamon than okay. Jim Beam, and I'm not going to enjoy it. So we'll find. I, I've it. had this before, and I, I I was the same. I thought, well, if it's got so much cinnamon in it, as I can smell, I, I wouldn't like it. But it grew on me. It did grow on me. Yeah, yeah. So enjoy. It's just assaulting my nostrils as I roll up to my mouth. And there's the fire. There's the Kentucky fire. Mm. Very, very that, cinnamon that, Holy dooly! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's different. That is I, different. It you does have an afterburn. Glass up from yours? It, initially, <laughs> it's very smooth and rich, and then once you sort of down it, then that burn comes through mm -hmm. and I don't know being a fan of spicy hot food I find it a lot better than what I was worried about that's, that's what I thought uh, that, that is exactly what I, what I right now when I'm sort of eyeing off my second swig I get a whiff and it puts me off again because yeah. I hate the smell of it but yeah. the drink itself was quite quite uh, pleasant mm. well it definitely tasted the cinnamon it hits ya. Is that I'm not used to it. <laughs> One of the two. Mm. Do you reckon it's all right, Nate, or do you think you'd prefer that with something else in it? Maybe a bit colder. Maybe just neat, but cold. I think if you mix okay. anything with it, maybe a bit of a bit of water might be alright. But I would not put any mm. soft drinks, anything with it. It'd be too sweet. It'd be too much. So cold, would. cold would be better. Well, I'm enjoying the burn from it. I don't mm. think the burn's too much and it's not no. hurting me. Yeah. I like the burn, but I think it needs something in it to take care of that smell, which puts me off. But I don't know what, what you'd put in the whiskey to take care of the smell, take the edge off the smell, but then, you know, not maybe take away from the drink itself. I don't know what you could do. There. Maybe, have you got a little bit of water there? Maybe try it before you finish you your glass. Okay. Maybe try a little bit of water. Okay, I'll try it. Oh, danger, Craig's doing it with this. How's that? That's, uh, for those listening in, that was actually uh, a glass of water pouring into the whiskey. It wasn't someone peeing. Maybe, yeah, next, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Don't know if they do anything about the cinnamon f uh, smell, considering it says <coughs> Kentucky, Kentucky Straight Cinnamon Infused Bourbon. It's kind of on the label. How was that? I, th I think... No, the, that was okay. I, I think if you're going to sit down one night and say, I'm going to drink a bottle of this, that's probably the way you should go. You should put a drop of water in it. Okay. Uh, to, it sort of for the long haul, but uh, uh, for my original sort of uh, query about taking the smell out of it, it didn't do much for me. But, but, uh, uh, no, no, uh, I'm not drinking Craig's raspberry lemonade. Still does have a fairly strong cinnamon smell with water, and I was quite worried about that. But but now that I've had it, I'm I don't know what I was worried about. It was alright. See, the water takes the burn away. Yeah, but I enjoy the mm. burn. That's the thing. Yeah, so depends if you liked the burn or didn't. Mm. So someone oh. might like the cinnamon and the smoothness of the whiskey, mm. but be put off by the burn. Then That's water's right. the water's for them. I would like to try it um, very, very cold. That, that yeah, also can take the burn away. Yeah, chuck that in the freezer. Okay. Uh, next is uh, Glen Grant Single Malt Scotch from Speyside. Should read out oh. the label. James Grant, the major, was only 25 when he inherited the Glen Grant Distillery in Rose, which is in Speyside. A forward-thinking and unconventional man, the Major personally designed the innovative tall slender stills with unique purifiers to achieve his vision of a seductively smooth, fruity, rich, superior single malt. Glen Grant, the Major's reserve, displays a light golden colour with a soft bouquet of delicate apple note. This superb single malt offers a fresh and vanilla palette with a slightly dry and hazelnut finish. Lance, what is that? Uh, are you interested or does that scare you off? I'm interested. 
Yes, I'm very interested. You want to try this? It, it may not have a cork, but it um, is a... It's a screw top, yeah. Yeah, so it's a nice instantly, and fancy, fancy looking liquid in a nice bottle. Yeah, so instantly Lance has turned off because it didn't have a cork in it. Instantly no, no, slightly, no, no, no. Instantly slightly like posh. I, um, <laughs> I'm a little bit... Um, Skeptical. Yeah, I, I'm interested because it has this nice ring, ring pull kind of... Neck on the bottle for you to hang on to and drink straight from the yes, bottle. Yes, that is a good point. If mm -hmm. you put that in a brown paper bag, it would be very easy to grip. Yes, it has, it has, has a swig. Yeah, all, all, all it needs now yes, is like works. a finger to stick a ring pull through and you, you should be fine. Anyway, um, sounds very inviting. Alright, well, pour yourself a glass. Okay. Enjoy. Don't mind if I do. So here we have well, a, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a. A last year's. Doritos medium salsa. Oh, last year's, yeah, that was a good year. That mm. 2014. Expires, that was a good year for salsa. <laughs> expires this year. Mm. Oh. It is apparently 99% fat free and mm. no artificial colours or flavours. Oh, good, I'm developing a belly. I'm hoping mm. we'll get rid of it. I don't know why they put flavours in there. If 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 I read no artificial colours or flavours, I'd be like, well, it has no flavour. Yes. I want salsa with flavour. Yes. Yeah. This is right, I'll put that out there. So you, if you're going to make a product <coughs> with no flavour, why not add some artificial flavour? That's right. <laughs> and then I'll buy it. <laughs> so I should say no artificial colours and no artificial flavours. So anyway, back to this whiskey. Anyway. Oh, that's um, what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Craig, are you having a drop? No, I might um, pass this round. Or two. Have a sniff. Have, have a, a sniff, sniff, Craig. Like that better than the other ones? Mm. Oh, the first one smelled right. Last one I was overpowering was cinnamon. 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 That yep. one. That one. Um, that one smelled right. Say sin. Sin. Say n. N. Say mun. Mun. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. There you go. Sandalwood. Fish. Are you like a speech therapist? Maybe after a couple more drinks, I could use some help. <laughs> oh, keep mm. that in mind. All right, so, so what, uh, what year? When, when you smell the space side, the the Glen Ground, what do you? What years? What can you pick How up? many years is this, man? Old old barrels. I'm I'm guessing it's. Um, I would assume it's a twelve year. Yeah, twelve year. I was gonna say twelve year or older. Uh, has a, a a slight sweet smell to it. It is very sweet smelling. Mm. When I say sweet, I mean sweet as in herbs, mm. not right. not uh, sugar mm -hmm. or. Yeah, it's not honey sweet. It's no, it's not honey. It's it's herbs. You know, mm. sort of like vanilla, like from, from plants. It's sort of floral, sort of sweetness. Oh. Um, so you saying the this deeper is a green whiskey? What? You saying this is a green whiskey? No, it's got a nice golden colour. <laughs> it's not Midori. Jeez. No, no, I mean as in a um, like young greenies whiskey. Oh, you herbs. mean like you mean like a new, oh. oh, you mean a, a new age? Whiskey. Yeah, yeah, right. It's totally free, man. Uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Shall we try? I'm, ha I'm having a sweet. Now that, the burn in that, the sting in that is mm. just on the uncomfortable side. Yeah, it's like, just slightly. There's like a it? good burn. It just steps over the mark there. Mm. So compared to the, the other two. And the time, or like the, the length of the burn. It's it's mm. not just a sudden mm. burn and gone. It's it's still there. Yeah, and the, the aftertaste is poor. I know. Mm. Sort of. Initially, initially it's it's sort of all right. You sort of get that sweetness, uh, but then the, the the bitterness and the burn comes through, and then the aftertaste is. I don't worse. like I, I don't like that. So yeah. uh, this is uh, bow, bow, mm. not not enjoying this one. I'd, I'd say it's, it's it, the aftertaste is getting worse. I bought this bottle of whiskey, but I didn't pay much for it. Mm. You know, so yeah. yeah, if you if you buy the cheap stuff, you're gonna have to expect a bit of plus a screw top, a bit of nice. Yeah, it's a screw top. Oh, yeah, so yeah. See, Lance's my theory, philosophy. My, yeah. my my theory works again. That, well, yeah. And what was uh, that theory well, for those who are um, uneducated? Oh, sorry, well, my theory. Yeah, the, the, uh, the theory. We'll, the, the we'll, theory we'll go into is, the theory. So yeah. the, th the theory is, if it has a core, it is a much nicer blend. It is aged longer. I, normally, bottles that I, I find that have a cork are uh, aged longer, mm -hmm. and they do seem to have a, a, a much nicer taste um, or flavour. Where screw top bottles seem to quick production, get them off the shelf, they're done by a machine, 
I'm not saying that Corgis and Pudding Boy Machine either, but it seems to have a faster production. Time. Yeah, faster, faster production line. Line. Everyone happy with that theory? Yes. It's worked so far. That, that's uh, one bottle. Theory correct. So we've had how many cork bottles have we had so far? Uh, the first one was a cork. I went had the one. No, no, no. There was, there was one cork bottle, which mm -hmm. was the Kentucky. The, wild the, turkey. The wild turkey was a cork. The cinnamon, which was a screw top. Which Jim Beam was a screw top. I will say that as far as whiskies go, the the whiskey I rank at the very bottom of all whiskies I've tried is Johnny Walker Red. Yes. And Johnny Walker Red is a blend, so mm -hmm. it's sort of all the leftover yeah. shit from the Johnny Walker factory. It goes into the red. Yeah. Uh, this is a single malt whiskey from Speyside. I think that's as far as flavour and quality goes, it's on par with Johnny Walker Red. That's where I rank have, it. Oh, right at the bottom. Have you tried it And that's a ice? single malt. That's not a blend. Yeah. Have you tried with, tried it with ice I, or water? I have you not, experimented? I'm not going to give it any more time. <laughs> I've, okay. I've had I'm, I'm going to... I'm interested. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try a little okay. bit of water. So right? have a bit of water. So in the last segment we had um, with, the, with the fire, the cinnamon, we tried it a little bit with water. So we're going to try that again. He's going with the smell. Has, has weakened the smell a little bit. The smell, the smell was the best bit about it, though. The the fruity, uh, not so much the fruity, but the sweet smell that came, the, the sweet flowery smell was good. Everything else that comes after the smell, I didn't enjoy. What do you think? It is better. You reckon it's better? I think it water? is better. I think, I think you should try this. It yeah, is slightly right. better. Well, if you're willing to share. Yes, I am willing to share. Mine. Anything for an um, experiment? Now that's mostly water. What I just had then, that's three quarters water. Yeah, there is a fair bit of water in there. <laughs> yeah, that's not a drop of water, that's mm. mostly water. That's a glass of water and you spilled your scotch in it. <laughs> no, there actually, there's a bit of water in there, but it's still a fair bit of scotch. That, that's see through, I can see okay. you through. Yeah. I might have slipped with the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. No, I, uh, I rank that at the bottom of single malts yes. thus far. Oh, that's a bit more. Well, that's my opinion. It, mm. it, it is. That's why we're here to discuss yeah. these things. If you disagree, by all means, let me have it. I can't it's comment. The, <laughs> the aftertaste is what gets you. It's, it's not pleasant. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's a that's a big thing for me is the aftertaste. You have mm. a nice thing of whiskey, and it's like, mmm, that's nice. And then five minutes later, you, yeah. you you're just hating Great. it. You're regretting. Looking for another bottle of whiskey to wash it down with. So in terms of aftertaste, if we're going with the soft drink realm, comparing Coke to vanilla Coke to raspberry Coke. Oh, no, no. You don't just compare Coke with vanilla Coke. Okay, maybe not vanilla Coke. Vanilla Coke is just... <laughs> it's top. just on its whole... It's on another planet, vanilla Coke. I don't know who came up with that. That is just... The be all end all of soft drink is oh. vanilla coke. So, so in terms of aftertaste, so the aftertaste of vanilla coke, yeah, not too bad. Aftertaste of raspberry, co um, raspberry coke, yeah, raspberry coke. In my cherry opinion, coke. cherry coke is absolutely horrible. Yeah, yeah. That made no sense whatsoever. But that, anyway, we're, we're drinking anyway. whiskey, not coke. Yeah, we're drinking. So uh, that, let's not. Yeah, let's not talk about coke. I give that oh, one out that of ten. <laughs> Sorry, I'm um, gonna have to find a glass of water to wash that I, down. I, I, it was I like think it had. Of, it was a hint of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have washed your glass better. But I think that's a zero for flavour, a zero for smoothness, a zero for aftertaste. I'll give it one because of the smell, a one out of ten. Yeah, it is for it that has a good smell. I'll give it a two. Two? Oh, a two. Wow. Uh, Generous. It's, it's a nice smell, very nice smell. Um, Looks can be looks can be very deceiving. Nice bottle as well, I'm <laughs> Do you want to keep it? I'll give it to you. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, it, <clears throat> I don't mind a scotch and coke. It might go good with that. Uh, you ruin <laughs> your coke. Yeah. But um. Put it with cherry coke. After having a, 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 <laughs> I, I would much prefer to sit down and drink cinnamon flavored Jim Beam or the, the eighty-six well, percent, uh, eighty-six proof bottle of turkey. Well. Than that. On the subject of wild turkey, our next tester is wild turkey. Wild turkey rare breed, barrel proof. Lance, you'll be happy. It's got a cork in it. The angle that oh, yeah. how that first. sounded good. Very nice. See if I can do that again. The, yeah. yeah, please. There you uh, go. Let, let this be a warn to you. Um, it is a hundred and eight point two proof. What? So it, it has a 54.1% alcohol. 
Right. right. It's going to be a fire breather, I, I'd imagine. Uh, pour yourself a glass. Oh, thank we'll, you. We'll, we'll have a glass and we'll oh. see what we think. Oh, Alright, so have a sniff. Have a sniff, Craig. What do you think? Oh. Oh, strong. <clears throat> Whoa. Can I have these sinuses? I can smell it sounds salt. again. <laughs> Very smoky smell. Very Ooh. smoky flavour. I am liking this. Um, I can't wait to taste this. How good does that smell? It smells good. Very smoky. It's like a smoky bourbon. Mm, very smoky. Oh my god. I love smoky. I mean, I mean, Isla. Isla is my favourite Scotch whiskey region. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, it's smoky. And I love smoky stuff. I love smoky food. But, uh, I don't think I've had a smoky American whiskey before. I don't think I've had a smoky oh, bourbon okay. before. So, I, oh, this is a big surprise. I'm I, really I think looking forward to this. Before I, um, have a taste. I think it's gonna have a good burn to it, a high alcohol percentage. But that smoky flavour, I can. What was it? Hundred and eight or something, wasn't it? That's the proof. So if you That's left, the proof. If you left that bottle undone in this room, we could all smell that already. Probably. Well, we're good. Anyway. Mm. All right. So I can't wait to get into this. So I'm just going for it. Okay. Martin's diving in the deep end. Oh, so Martin's had a, had a good old squeak there. Thinking about it. Contemplating. He's got his hand on his knee. Head down. Oh, he's not. He's got the nod. He's, he's got, got the nod, nod going. He hasn't oh, had a this, screwed this, up face look yet. So <laughs> we're, we're, this, this is fascinating podcasting, people. <laughs> <laughs> we are. The, um, oh, he's talking. There's a bit too much sting. This, this smidge too much sting. A the bit smidge. too much burn. The flavour is good. The smokiness yeah. is not overpowering. Uh, it's got that really good bourbon flavour to it. Okay. Uh, but the the sting, the the burn that comes with it, it's just a bit too much. A bit uncomfortable. A little bit too much. Yeah. Is there anything you think would change that? A bit of ice. Perhaps a drop of water. Actually, I think a bit of ice. A bit, a bit of ice, ice would be nice. Yeah. We'll take a container here for a, for a slab of ice. How about you, Lance? Have you had a swig yet? No, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, in, I'm enjoying the um the smokiness. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Oh, this is so cool. Mm. Now, now, where where is this? Uh, supplied, I'm gonna go get a bottle. It is about an 80 or 90 dollar bottle. Um, nice. It is, so it's not on the lower shelf. Make you feel posh. Mm. It's, it's a little bit higher than the, the, um, the red label Jim Beam. <laughs> <laughs> There's a red label Jim Beam? Oh, sorry, red, red label Johnny Walker. Oh, Please, right, right, correction. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, someone, someone slapped me for that. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Right in the titty. I think. Yeah, there, there's a lot of flavour there, a lot of smoke. Flavor. Um, I would say it's comparing it to the to the, the other wild turkey. This is in a has been brewed in a an older cast, slightly older, not much. Um, strong, I would say. It is. It has a very very good burn. See, I don't think the burn's good. I think I think the burn brings it down. I think it's it's all good. Yeah. It's all good news until you get that burn, mm. and then the burn doesn't go away. It lingers and it stays there. Yeah, so mine isn't too bad. The, maybe it's because of the chips I've been eating, but <laughs> the burn has gone on. I, I, I just had a, a sip, and the burn's already gone. <laughs> any any more thoughts, Lance? So as, as I have my second swig there, yes, it has a. Well, I finished off my chips. Um, there, there is definitely chips, chips chips. a burn there. <laughs> I could almost feel the burn in the end of my nose when I was breathing it out. <laughs> oh wow, really? It just made me yeah. cough a little bit. There you go. So, the rare breed, what, what would you give it a rating of? Smoothness was good. Flavour was good. Smell was really good. The aftertaste, is just, there's just too much burn there. There's too much mm. sting in the tail of it. So... I'd really like to give it a good score because I was, I was really excited with it at the start, but I just can't do it. So, uh, six and a half out of Ooh, ten. Oh, he's, he's six and a half, half digit in there. All right, I'm, I'm going to experiment like I like to do. <laughs> I'm going to put some water in mine because I think that will kill the bird. Actually, before we go, and, that, and well, this time I'll let Martin pour the water because next time, no, previous I swamped it. <laughs> well, I did. I did put an ice cube in mine before, okay. as as we said, and uh, I did my. Okay. I didn't 
Not too sure. I actually secret. think that brought out more smokiness. What? It Give me is. that. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it has very, very high smoky flavour. You're joking. No, I'm not. You're no. suggesting that a drop of water, or two drops in your case. Yes. Two drops of water in the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. And the burn's gone. So it takes away the burn and gives more smoke. There's a tiny bit of a burn, but nothing like what it was. Yeah. But there's... Wait till you try. The smoky flavour is there. I get an evil look across the room. I'm just spectacle. You, you think that's the way? Yeah. So you're saying it takes away the burn and adds smoke in it? It... Yeah. <laughs> it definitely tasted more smoky without the, the burn. So, because the burn is reduced, yeah. the smokiness it's can reduced. thrive. Yes, that's what it felt like. Okay. That's what it tasted like. Hmm. He's looking puzzled. Thinking of an answer. Shaking his head. No, no you, you, you know what that's done? It's taken away the smokiness and the burn has stayed. You think? <laughs> For me. To each their own. But that's... There's no smokiness in that drop I just had, but the burn is still there. The water has reversed the polarity. The <laughs> well, the the goal we were looking for to sort of make it better, it's not there. This right. is bottle number five. 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 We're up to number five. We're up five. This is yeah, we're up to we've got an ad bag. It's a ten-year-old uh, single malt from Isla. My favourite. Whiskey region. Uh, Lance, can you please uh, open that for me? Thank you. My, uh, my theory works again. The bottle is fancy. <laughs> also has a cork. So I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be good. Extra corky. Smokies is smoking this as well. I think I just went a bit too much on that. Mellowed. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You what? what? Yeah, that on my nose is blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Here I was. I just dove in nose first thinking. What? There's something wrong with the smokiness? <laughs> so you so you smell this. This this is from this is from the the region of Isla. So traditionally Isla whiskies are are smoky. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're very peaty as well. This one isn't peaty. So what no no complaints from me. I cannot what, fault this whiskey. What is uh, written on the back of the bottle there, Craig? Um, basically it's talking about um, Ardberg, but of all. <laughs> Well, whiskeys. to sum it up for you there, Lance, it's about hard bag. <laughs> That's what it's about. But I'll read it anyway. <laughs> of all Arla's whiskies, it is Ardberg <clears throat> which stands alone in the, in the, as the deepest and most balanced. Revered by connoisseurs as something extraordinary. I'm turning into an Englishman, I don't know why. It's Scottish. It's Scottish. It is Scottish. It is. Um, typically... That. Scotch whiskey. Typically, oh, most whiskies. Oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Typically, most whiskies. I kill. Do it with a Glasgow accent. Aye. <laughs> I'll go play a bit of golf. Typically, the most whiskies are. I think it's Northern English now. I'll just read it normally. Typically. <laughs> to a strength of 40%. Uh, Ardberg is 10 years old, however, is non kill filter, did you know that? And has a strength of 46 something, thus Abs. retain... Abs. <laughs> Abs. Thus retaining maximum flavour. Interesting. Yes. At the same time, giving more body and added depth. Here's something that we've come back to 
quite a bit today. On adding water, a little cloudiness may occur, which is perfectly natural and is not a matter for concern. We've talked a little bit about adding water to whiskey. You may have taken Craig's accent, but you'll never take his freedom! <laughs> never take my freedom! <laughs> it is a, a lighter, lighter oh, whiskey. It is, it is very much light. lighter. It is very light. I, I, I think the, the interesting thing about this particular whiskey is uh, in Scotland, this is a, like a bottom of the range mm, whiskey. Okay. I mean, you go into a, into a bar in Scotland, you look at the whiskey menu. This is at the bottom of the oh, really of the. It, this is a fodder whiskey. It's you know it's the cheap stuff. Whereas you know wow. when I taste it, I the quality is uh, it's, it's superior to the majority of whiskeys I've tasted before. Mm. Wouldn't have picked that. Oh, that is uh, very smooth. I love it. As a medium burn. Medium burn. Mm. No, no, I can say it, it does have a burn, but mm. it's not too intense. It, no. It is there. The it. burn is there. From past experience with this particular whiskey, the smoky is, it did blow your head off, but... It's not smoky, it's more... Caramelized. What? I'm just making up words. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Trampoline. Trampoline. Uh, it smells more like... Old casks. Calligraphy. Old casks. Politics. No. What, what sort of casks is there? Not sherry casks, is it? For those like myself who don't know where Isle, Isla is, it's in Scotland. Scotland, as far as whiskies go, it's divided up into four main regions. Uh, there is more than four regions, but there's four main regions. Okay. There's the Highlands, the Lowlands, Speyside, and Isla. Isla is an island off the west coast of Scotland. The natural whiskey taste that comes out of Isla is a smoky taste. Apparently this has a cinnamon in it. I, I, Must be a hint, I can't smell it. I, I couldn't taste it. Well that might be where the burn comes from. Possibly. Mm. But then it also has uh, brine infused with buttermilk. That's not brain, that's brine infused with buttermilk. Human brain. And currant. Ugh. So you think if it has buttermilk... Oh, it makes us more intelligent when we drink it. I like to think so. You think buttermilk would um, cover up cinnamon burn flavours. also has um, yeah. toasted marshmallows. Hey. <laughs> really? Yeah, you're talking. Yeah. Hang on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Craig has no, Craig uh, dove uh, into uh, the toasted uh, marshmallows. For those listeners... <laughs> Lance has just explained to the group that there is uh, toasted marshmallows in the whiskey. Craig, as a result, has just taken a huge swig of thus said whiskey, hoping to find uh, toasted marshmallows inside. <laughs> I would have to say I'm sadly disappointed with the result of no toasted marshmallows. Mm. There is a strong smoky flavour though. Smoky with NSC, toasted almonds, soft barley, interesting. Tea is an important... Yes, it's an important ingredient. It's an it's an early stage of the distilling is is the peat, but it depending on which distillery you go to and which region they're in, so the peatiness can come out in the flavour or, or it can it, it cannot. In this particular scotch, it doesn't. I'm just happy with a glass of scotch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a nice one for a change. Is there that. any left after Craig took a big sweep? Oh, do you drink it out of mine? It, Are you enjoying that? So many questions. It's not bad at all, actually. It's a ten year, isn't it? Yeah, ten years. Excuse me. Tis, tis ten. Um. So what's the? So we've been scoring the other ones. What's the score you we're going to give this one? I give the Ant Bag ten year an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. Good score. There's a bit of burn there. It's not as smooth as what it could be, but there are older versions of it. So it gets an eight, but it's not there yet. So while uh, Lance is contemplating his score, mm. it's a hard one to score. The score's high. The score's high. What do, you, what do you give it out of smoothness? Three out of three for smoothness. smoothness. Three. Yeah. Very out, smooth. out of three for smoothness, what do you give it? It's about th two and a half to three. Two and a half. We'll yeah. go with two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Right. What do you give it for flavour out of three? Oh, there's lots of flavour there. I have to give it. 
two and a half. I think. Two and a half again. Oh, so yeah. you're five so far. Yeah, right. yeah. The aftertaste is where it lets it down just a little bit. Right, it could right. be a bit stronger. So we're out of three for an aftertaste. Yeah, two. Two. Right. So that's seven. Yeah. Does it deserve an extra point out of ten? So far, you're seven out of ten. Does it? I'll give it a half a point. So seven and a half out of yeah, ten. Yeah, for a ten year old, I'd give another half. I give the Ardu ten year old single scotch malt seven and a half. Out of nine slash ten. Out of seven point six. Out of seven point six. <laughs> so uh, it's goodbye from me, Charlie Mops. It's goodbye from Lance. Goodbye. And it's a goodbye from Mr. Craig. Goodbye Thanks. from Craig. Thanks for uh, joining us and listening. We hope you've enjoyed this educational experience as much as we have enjoyed this educational experience. And boy, has it been an educational experience. Actually, let me just... Can I finish on a quote? You can. I'll finish on a quote and no. then I'll stop. We like quotes. <laughs> uh, everyone likes quotes. Philosophy oh. is what we're all about. Yes, we've had many quotes tonight. Yes. We've, we've quoted the whole show pretty much. All right, you ready? Okay. Yep, go for it. Okay. Fire away. Oscar Wilde once said, Other people drink alcohol to make themselves feel better. But I drink alcohol.